Thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to have a, an in-depth look of, uh, at how to swing weight a set of irons. I always get asked well, quite regularly um, as to what sort of process that we follow here at SGT as far as you know how to swing weight properly. So I'm going to take you through a, a basic uh, swing weighting session, so to speak, that I'll do. Um, I've got, a, I've got a, a used set of Mira TC201 that are getting built with uh, Modus 105 in, um, in a black finish. So basically what I do is I've set my, my, uh, my feral depths, I've applied papers, cut it to length. It's, it's over length, so don't be shocked by the swing weights. But basically what I've got is I've got a set of four to nine, six irons here that are all dry. And I'll show you what we do. Start, doesn't matter which way you start, doesn't matter which one at all. We'll start with a four iron. And I'm gonna get it on the swing weight scale and it says E4.4. So I'll take that off. And then I'll record that over here. E4.4, okay? And that is without a grip, it's no grip. So don't be shocked by the swing weight, it's no grip. And then I'll run through them all as quickly as I can. E5.3. E6.0. E5.3. E6.0. And then I'll just continue to run Sorry that my, my back's at you here, but just trying to get this done. 6.1. Six 6.1, 5.2. So I'll record those down here again. 6.1, E5.2. Two, and then the nine iron here. E six point two. Okay. All right. So we've got all the the dry swing weights, and then I'm going to rank them from heaviest to lightest here. So I've got number one heaviest here. We'll put heaviest. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and six. So that's the order in which they're heaviest to lightest. Okay. Now this is the bit that most people won't bother with. This is the bit that I do bother with. And this is the... Um, I've got six grips, I'm gonna weigh the grips, okay? Because ideally we wanna try and match those swing weights up without using much lead in the head, okay? So now I'm gonna weigh the six grips. Okay, 51.2. Fifty-one point two. Rub that out, and I'm going to start that at the four iron end. There's fifty-one point two. Fifty point two. Fifty-one point zero. Fifty point two, fifty one point six, 
and 50.6. 51 and 50.6. Now, with these ones, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rank them from heaviest. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter, they're the same, okay? Okay, so now once I've got the six weights, I'm just going to arrange them on the bench from heaviest down to lightest. Okay, so if you come up here on the bench, I've now arranged them. This is actually the heaviest grip here. And then we're going to go into the lighter grip over here. So from that point on, the heaviest grip needs to go with the heaviest swing weight. So the heaviest swing weight club is the nine iron. So he has to go in there. So if we look back at the, at the table, there's your heaviest one. It's got to go in there. Then the next heaviest goes on the seven iron. Then the next heaviest is going to go on the six iron. Then the fourth heaviest goes on the five iron. The fifth heaviest goes on the eight iron. And the lighter grip is going to go on the four iron. All right, so now we've got those matched up. We've got them all matched up. We've got our grip weights matched up. And we can just get rid of this. We don't really need this anymore. Now we're gonna go ahead, next step is to get a dry swing weight. So this should balance these up somewhat, not perfectly, but somewhat. So I'm gonna go through the process now of getting a dry swing weight with a grip on my four iron. And it's D4.1, okay? Now I'm gonna go through that process with all the other five clubs and record those for you. Five point oh. Five point four. Now you might think this is a long, bit of a tedious process to go through, but all good things are worth taking their time. Five point six. Two more to go. Just the eight and the nine iron. I mean, the wonderful thing about this scale, it's electronic, 4.9. It's extremely accurate. Um, I calibrated it just last week, just this week gone. Very quick and easy to use. You can do this method. It's easy, you put the grip to the side of the shaft. The club goes in here, D5.6, okay. So it's just a real easy machine to, to use. Now, you say, why did I bother doing that? Let's have a look top to bottom. Again, we go heaviest to lighter, 6.2 to 4.4. How's my maths? Uh, 1.6 difference. No, I'm gonna say 1.8. Eight. That's the top to bottom, heaviest to lightest. Now we have 4.1 to 5.6, which is 1.5 difference. So that, that's all we've done. We've just, we've brought in the difference from 1.8 to 1.5. Now it's worth noting, that's not a lot. 
It's worth noting that sometimes with some clubs, either the head weights are quite different or the grip weights in particular are quite different. With these, they're only within about a gram. So these Golf Pride um, Tour Velvet 360s are really close in swing weight, so they didn't make a huge difference. But sometimes you might get two or three grams difference in a, in a grip, and that can bring that number in really tight. So you might go from a 1.8 top to bottom um, to a 1.0 or 0 0.5 even. You know? So that's why I do that, because sometimes you can, you can swing weight a whole set of irons just by grip uh, weighting or, or, or sorting out the, the appropriate grip weights. So the heaviest grip weight on the heaviest swing weight. Now we are 1.5 here. Now the aim at SGT is to get them within 0 0.3, 0 0.3 difference or better. So now we go about really trying to dial that in. Now what I'm gonna do with this set is the only real thing you can do that we like to do here is to start from the top and work down, okay? So the heaviest swing weight is number nine. number seven and number six. 5.4, 5.6, 5 5.6, none of those need weight. No weight, no weight, no weight. And what we wanna bring the rest of these up to, the four, the five and the eight iron is about 5.4 to 5.6, okay? So, start with the four iron. We're looking for 5.4 to 5.6. Now we've got 4.1. And we're gonna go get in the draw. And we're gonna go three grams. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the end off, put the, put the little tip weight here. That's a three gram tip weight. Put it in the end of the club. And we're now at 5.6. So I got now 5.6. The next one is 5.0. So it's not gonna need much weight at all. Um, 0.6 is only like a one grammar. Grab the smallest one I've got. Five point eight. Now that's a little too much. So I don't like that. And this is one reason why I like to work with lead. I can get out my pliers. I can get the lead and I can just cut it. I'm just gonna cut the weight, All right? I'm just gonna cut some off, put that weight in. Where are we at? 5.4, great. Now I might've cut a little bit too much off and I could probably redo that and get that right on if I wanted to. But just as an example, we're at 5.4 here. And now the eight iron is 4.9. The eight iron grip, grab the eight iron. I already know this is one that's gonna need a little cut. Try and cut without cutting one's fingers off. Yeah, it's harder than what it should be. Pressure's on. Yeah, I like that much. Okay, give it a little cut. I'm gonna put this small amount in the end and see where we're at. 5.9. 
5.4. Try the other half of it. Uh, it's, it's too light. That's all right. So, again, you can get really, really particular with lead and you can cut it down and get it spot on. Now, 5.5. So we now have a situation. This is 5.5 where our swing weights are 5.6, 5.4, 5.4, 5.6, 5.5, and 5.6. Now that set is within 0.2 of a swing weight. 0.2. Now we can get as particular as we like. We get it down to 0, 0.0. But then you've got to get uh, a perfect amount of glue now again, we, when we're going to glue, we use, you know, this sort of setup where we have a gun and um, a trigger and we'll have a nozzle there that'll mix. So once the glue passes through this nozzle, it'll, it'll mix its way through. My hand shouldn't be in the front, really. There we go. Nozzle goes on. The glue will mix on the way through and come out into the head. And with time, you get good at, you know, how much of a squeeze you need or, or how, in actual fact, you can, you know, determine on how far up the hosel you want to fill with glue. And if you get those points perfect, if you're then injecting this, you know, into there perfectly the same amount, you're going to get some wonderful swing weights in the end. Really, really match set. But I know it's a little bit of a, a process and you don't have to do what we do. Um, but that's the way I like to do it is to go that basic, simple process of dry swing weight. Okay, cut to length papers, take a dry swing weight and then weigh your grips, match them up to try and get your swing weights as tight as you can. And then that last little process of adding a little bit of lead. Now this, this set we've added, um, three, four, five grams in total to the heads. Sometimes you can get it as, as little as one gram in one head. Um, pretty rare, you know, but five grams in, in a whole set is not much lead. So it's probably a credit to the, you know, the fact that we're using a set of Mira TC-201s, beautiful head. We've got a good quality set of, of Nippon shafts and we've got, you know, good quality grips in, in Golf Pride, which are typically pr pretty good in their weight. So. But there you have it, that's how we swing weight here. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Happy to help you out when we can. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you click on like and subscribe. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see and we'll see you in the next video.